Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a real quick video about remote desktop uh, connections. And if you're not familiar, remote desktop connection allows you to connect to a different or another computer on your network. So it's very, um, very simple use, very convenient. It lets you access, like for example, even your home network. Um, if you have, you know, more than one computer, instead of uh, having to walk to your living room from your bedroom, you can simply just initiate the remote desktop connection and connect to that computer remotely and access everything that's on it. But before uh, uh, the before we uh, demonstrate that, I just want to make sure that you know that uh, that it is imperative that the remote desktop connections are enabled on your computer. So if you go to your computer uh, properties, so right click your computer properties, um, you want to make sure the remote settings are enabled. So right up here on the left hand side, click on remote settings and I did get a pop-up but I'm just gonna bring it over here make sure this box is checked this basically um, allows for your con computer to be controlled remotely so you're gonna make sure that this is enabled and you can adjust this if you want but it's not necessary and you also want to check uh, one of these options if you have a secure connection uh, running you go ahead and switch to that just do a check mark like that but if it's not working for some reason um, you can simply select on the second option here, and then it will let you um, it will let you remotely connect to your second computer. And this is most likely what I would uh, well, this is what I would recommend of your if you have a home network or at your home if you have multiple computers and you're just trying to access, you know, a, a second PC. Um, if you're on a domain, um, you can select which users are allowed to connect to your computer. So if you select here, you can click Add type in the name of the uh, person that is allowed for example the new user and you would just add this person and it would they, this person on this domain will be able to access will have the ability to access this computer remotely okay so I'm just gonna cancel out of that because I'm currently not connected to a domain so it's not gonna let me add it so I'm just gonna cancel out of that but that's exactly how you do it okay and I'm um, don't like if you're worried about security, don't leave this enabled, okay, if you're worried about that. But it's mostly safe on your home ne home network, as long as you have uh, everything else secure, okay. So that's how you, you got to make sure it's it's enabled, okay. So you got to make sure it's enabled. And you may have to restart the computer just in case, but not necessarily, okay. Okay, let me just go over the uh, remote desktop connection. So if you don't have it here uh, for some reason, you can just type in remote desktop and remote desktop and it will show up here and you just go ahead and select it and you run it and now here you just gotta know the name of the PC you gotta, you gotta know the name of the PC that's on your computer in my case I'm gonna try to uh, connect to my uh, um, server that's on my home network so I'm just gonna click connect now just a quick tip um, if you're on a different domain for example you're, uh, you have, you're running multiple domains or you're at work and you have two different domains and your account is on one but the remote computer is on a different one what you gotta do what you gotta make sure is that before you type in your login ID um, you gotta type in the name of the the the, the um, I'm sorry the name of the network that you're trying to uh, connect to okay so it's not uh, I, you know I, I apologize it's not the different domain but different network so if you're on a different network uh, this is what you'll have to do in order to connect to the computer that's on the other network okay you gotta type in the name of the network so you know the let's for example uh, other net okay let's pretend that's the name of another network and then you have to do a backslash and then um, your um, your login ID and then password okay so in my case um, I'm gonna type in this is the actual name of my home server um, new server actually new server zero and then backslash and then in my case the the uh, the account for that um, for the remote computer is Kobuman one and uh, of course you got to make sure that um, your your login ID is allowed to connect to that remote computer as well otherwise it's not gonna let you in obviously right and then I would just type in my password 
Okay, just a sec. And then you hit enter. Otherwise, if you're on the same network, you will not have to um, you will not have to type in the name of your network first. Otherwise, you would just type in your login ID. And there you have it. Very quick video just for uh, for you guys and uh, Oh, actually, let me go back real quick. I just want to show you the other options so for the net, for the uh, remote connection. I'm just going to disconnect from this. If you just want to disconnect from a remote computer, um, if you just click X here, if you just click X here, it's you're going to remain logged in at that computer, okay? It's not going to log you off or anything like that. So just kind of remember that. In case somebody else tries to log, use this remote computer, you're going to be logged in. They won't be able to necessarily log in until they kick you off or something. So if you just click X, it's just going to disconnect. So, But you're still logged in at the remote computer. But I just want to show you a couple of uh, different options in remote. If you when you, up, when you have a remote desktop connection open, you just click on options. And this is very important um, because... It could make a really huge difference um, when you're trying to uh, troubleshoot something or even access something on the other computer. Adjust the size. Adjust the uh, resolution size of the remote desktop. So that way you can fit it where you want. Because you necessarily don't want it to fill the whole screen. So you got many options here, you know. So you can go to full, you know, full screen. You know, full screen or is just that's my full screen resolution there. And, or you can just adjust it to whatever you like. Make it convenient. Everything else is more or less irrelevant. You can enable sound uh, or adjust the sound settings, keyboard, and you know it's kind of a, a self-explanatory here, so I don't necessarily have to go through it. But um, feel free to go through it. But I feel this is the most important part of this here, so that way you have a uh, appropriate size that you need for your uh, uh, for your desktop. For example, you know if you if you lower it to lower size, you can have multiple windows open. You know that way you can uh, connect to multiple uh, computers uh, or remotely um, you can have multiple remote connections going so uh, I'm just gonna close this out real quick and I just want to show you something else if you have a remote desktop auction, uh, open and let me go back to this let me go back to this log back to into this um, uh, I just want to show you how you can easy fastest way to open up another one so you would see you have the the, uh, the tab down here for the uh, for your window, so that's your window for the remoted, uh, remoted in computer. You can just right click it and click remote desktop again. Remote desktop connection here, they pop up. So right click the tab, and you get this. And um, well, actually, so for some reason, it's not, not showing up on the video. That's bizarre. Anyways, when you right click here, you get a little uh, menu and you just and it'll let you click on the remote desktop connection and then it'll open up another one. So that way you can have multiple ones open. Okay, that'll be it for this quick video, guys. I hope you uh, hope this quick tip helped you out. If you like this video, share it with your friends and family. And look forward to more videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>